When we talk about electric field, we really start our conversation with the gravitational field. When we talk about G field, what are we talking about? I'm going to take you 1665, Sir Isaac Newton conceptualized F equal m a, which is F equal m g, which is g m m over r square. Our hypothesis is that all are the same, and that's what we're going to prove. There is no difference between this, uh, these equations, the first law, single law, third law, and Newton universal law of gravity, they all are the same, and that's what we're going to try to prove, of course. Our uh, hypothesis is g is equal to gm of r square, and we're going to take it from there, all right? So g is m over s square is equal to g is uh, um, Newton, uh, Newton square over kilogram square times uh, m is kilogram, r squared is meter square, so m s squared is of course Newton is kilogram meter per second square, and you have already meter square, kilogram square, and don't forget that you have kilogram meter square, and they are the same thing. This is m equal um, m over s square, and this is also m over s square. How is that? Meter square meter square cancel. Kilogram goes to kilogram square once, and kilogram kilogram cancel. Meter over second square. So we have the same thing. What does that mean? That means that this is equal to G. What does that mean? Then F is equal to GM. What does that mean? F is equal to MG. What does that mean? G is equal to F over M. We're going to give you an example. All right. So. The example would be, all right, let's say uh, this is the earth and this is the gravitational field. And if you put an object over here, over here near the earth, and then the gravitational field will give you 9.81 meter per second square. If you put it over here times 10 raised to 5 meter above the ground, then would it be 9.81? No, it's going to be less. So what does that mean? The fact that you are from the center of the earth, that g goes to zero. Now we're going to find, given the information, there is a satellite over here, and uh, there is a satellite over here, and the mass of the satellite is, uh, let's see, let's give you the mass of the satellite, let's say 1.1 times 10 raised to 4 kilogram, and the force on the satellite is, I don't know, uh, let's say 9.1 times 10 raised to 4, and then also let's say, uh, the 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 distance from the earth surface distance from the earth surface to this one is five six one two three four meter all right okay now we want to find the g force on right here so g force right here would be less than nine point eight one why because this is way above the surface of the earth sea level so two way we're gonna find it. One is G is equal to F over M. The other one is MG, F is equal to F, which is MG is equal to G, M, M over R square. M, M cancel, the satellite, satellite cancel. Now this is the mass of the earth. G is equal to, uh, this G is 6.67 times 10 raised to negative 11. And the earth is 6 times 10 raised to 24. And then R is we have to find the R to find the R. Well, we have to add. Uh, we have to add two quantity because uh, the this is this is the radius of the R. Uh, and radius of the R is six three seven eight zero 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 one two three four five six. And this is above the R. So this is five six one two three four. So this is zero 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 eight um, thirteen one four nine six. So this is six nine three eight zero 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 square. All right, and that supposed to give you the same thing as this one. So this supposed to give you eight point three. Uh, meter per second square. Now let's see what this one can give us. G is equal to F is given. What is F? F is one. Uh, F is uh, nine point one. One times ten raised to four. And 
m is 1.1 times 10 raised to 4 10 raised to 4 10 raised to 4 cancel so decimal decimal cancel 91 divided by 11 so 11 goes to 91 8.3 so meter per second square. So both way you get the same thing. Electric field idea conceptualized by Michael uh, Michael Faraday. So electric field is of course F over Q. Now we're gonna start our conversation with Coulomb's law. F is equal to K Q Q over R squared. So our hypothesis is that K Q over R squared is equal to E. All right. How do you know? E is equal to f over q so f over q is equal to k q over r square and don't forget the r square all right um you're gonna put big q keep putting big q so f is newton and uh this q is the test charge the small q don't forget that which is coulomb is equal to k that is uh newton meter square over coulomb square and this is coulomb and this is meter square so meter square meter square coulomb goes to coulomb square once so newton over coulomb is equal to newton over coulomb what does that mean that means k q over r square is of course e what does that mean f is equal to e times q and we prove that now we're gonna get to show you what does that mean all right so we know if you have a positive charge the field lines go outside outward direction radially so outward direction radially this arrow getting smaller and smaller as it goes further and further from the center if this is a charged particle and the negative charge of course go inward of course radially all from all direction from all direction okay from all direction so this is the negative charge and when you have a positive and negative of course the line is just from a positive and go and, and go goes to the negative all right the line is just from positive and goes to negative the line is just from positive and goes to negative okay we're going to talk more about it today but we are now thinking of there is no rope as there is no rope between the earth and the moon is still the arc pulling the moon with 2 times 10 is to 20 newton and there is no row between positive and negative how on the wall positive knows there is a negative over there and that's what we're going to try to uh, understand ourselves and it is big so big that no other charge no other point charge influence the source charge and source charge you have creates electric field it creates the electric field around it radially all right, so these are the electric field and there is a name for this electric field E1 so these are the E1 so it creates electric field E1 of course the Q1 cannot create F1 because you yourself cannot create the force for yourself you need another charge to kind of experience some force to being able to create any force now you yourself cannot create the force vector so what we need to do we need to be a point charge we talked about point charge before it's so small it create it can create electric field but it's so tiny that that electric field will never influence this electric field of course we started positive over here big q now this is a small q However, this is small q, we can call q2, it now can create the force and that force is f2 and the direction of the f2 would be the direction of the e1 without any exception. Okay, now we will be able to find the uh, strength of the field lines uh, using two equations, remember? The gravitational field we use the two equation to find now electric field we're going to use two equation to find okay number one equation let's say we're going to find the electric field right here right here electric field e1 not e2 by the way e1 what how can we find e1 there are two ways to find e1 we're going to find two way so e1 and e1 let's find the easy way first f2 over q2 and f2 is 10 coulomb and Q2 is uh, F2 is 10 Newton and Q2 is 2 Coulomb so 5 Newton Coulomb all right now 
E1, there is another formula, K, big Q over R squared. Okay, now K is of course 9 times 10 raised to 9. And of course, the Q is uh, 5 over 9, 5 over 9, uh, 10 raised to negative 9. Okay, um, uh, and then R is squared, R is 1. So you have 9, 9 cancel, 9, 9 they cancel, so you have 5 neutral coulomb. Alright, both ways you get the same answer and that is 5 newton coulomb. Now, if you have the distance, what happened? This is 1 meter, this is now, this is 1 meter away, 1 meter away from BQ. Now you will have half meter away from BQ. Alright, so this is half meter, you want to find the electric field right here, half meter. So half meter away. So we're going to use both ways. You're going to use both way. So E1 would be, when you do half meter, you remember you quadruple. What do you quadruple? You quadruple the force. Why you quadruple the force? Let's come over here to see why you quadruple the force. Okay. Q1, uh, this is now Q1, of course, and this is R squared. Now, all right, so Q1, we know 5 over 9, uh, Q1, this Q1 is 5 times, uh, 5 over 9 times, 5 over 9 times, 5 over 9 times, 10 raised to negative, negative 9 coulomb, okay? This is what Q1 is. So K is 9 times 10 raised to 9, and then this is 5 over 9, 5 over 9 times 10 raised to negative 9, and then of course R is squared, R is squared is what? Is, um, R squared is 1 over 2 squared. 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4. If it is 1 over 4, then you have to multiply it by 4 times. All right? Force you need to multiply it 4 times. So now the force is uh, how much? 10. So 10 times 4 is 40. So F, F2 over Q2. All right, F2 is 40 over here. It's 4 times bigger. So 40 newton and to see so is uh, is uh, is 20 newton over coulomb. Let's see what we get. A uh, 99 cancel. This this cancel. 20 uh, 20 uh, 20 newton over coulomb. So is electric field is 20 newton over coulomb. Now it's a bigger electric field because the force is bigger. So the force over here is let's say this one. All right, and force over here is how many times bigger? Four times bigger. So force over here is like this big. All right, electric field over here five and electric field over here 20. So electric field is also four times bigger. Electric field over here is also four times bigger and it is obvious that this one is four times smaller than this one. Now let's say you're gonna go one fourth. One fourth F over Q two F two over Q two. Now F two is much bigger over here. So all right. So that's what you're gonna see. E is K is nine times ten raised to nine, and B Q uh, and B Q is is still same five over nine times ten raised to negative nine. And now I squared is one over four squared. One over four is one over sixteen. All right. Now nine nine cancel ten ten cancel. 5 times 16 is 80, 80 Newton Coulomb. Now let's see, this one, you have to multiply this by 10 uh, times 16, so 160, 160 divided by 2 Coulomb, so 80 Newton Coulomb. So both ways, you get 80 Newton Coulomb.